For thousands of years, farmers have been the bedrock of our society, planting a diverse selection of crops, nourishing our bodies, and providing civilizations with reasons and means to celebrate. As the population has continued to grow from the millions into the billions, the arable land has become more sparse. The problem time and time again? Water. Fortunately, humans are naturally curious and innovative. Back in Crete, over 7,000 years ago, man started experimenting. How could we manage water? How could we harness it? It didn't take long before new innovators came along and started using porous pipes to manage the water table. That same strategy permeated northwards through Europe and continued widespread use for millennia. Maybe it was the abundance of land, but Americans were slow to adopt. It wasn't until Scottish immigrant John Johnson took a flyer on a few hundred acres of supposedly unusable land that we first caught on. Farmer Johnson started burying loads of what his neighbors called crockery in the fields. The project had a name among sneering locals, Scotch Johnson's Folly. <laughs> but Johnson had the last laugh. His land outproduced any nearby, and in 1821 he had birthed the American drainage industry. Johnson's idea spread quickly, and the demand for crockery exploded. In 1849, Johnson and his neighbor imported a mass production line called the Scraggs Patent Tile Machine. And in just a few decades, the American Northeast began producing tile at a record clip. But production was only half the battle. Installation was a nightmare job with hordes of men digging and placing tiles by hand. That is, until the resourceful James Hill invented the Buckeye Traction Ditcher in 1890. The automated installer would alone change the Midwestern landscape forever. While their clay tile evolved slightly over the millennia, it was only in the mid 20th century that a new innovation would forever change the industry. My granddad heard rumblings about new materials that might make pipe cheaper, lighter, and more durable. Without even consulting with grandma, he was on a plane to Germany on a whim and came back the proud owner of a plastics extruder. And boy, did my grandma think him a fool. We didn't wait another 4,000 years before innovating again. We've consistently improved our products. We were among the first to market with stronger dual wall pipe, with recycled plastics, and with injection molded parts, and we're continuing to innovate each year. In just under 100 years, Fratco has woven itself into the fabric of American agriculture and played our role in evolving the landscape of the American farm.